着。Hey guys, well, finally, Windows 7 is now completely unsupported. You know why? Windows 7 is out supported and no longer working. So, if you guys trying to boot up Windows 7 and if you haven't upgraded, it's already too late. You'll have to buy a new computer. You couldn't save data. All, yes. I hope you all, you did all of it on all your computers on January 14, 2020. So, Windows 7 no longer works anymore, guys. So, Windows 7 is now completely unsupported on as of January 14, 2020. The next... Now, if you haven't know, there is an upgradable version. If it hasn't worked, you can use a disk to get the upgrade it. That will take three more support of Windows 7, but it's only for professional and enterprises. But it won't work for Home Premium or Ultimate. So, um, it will send three more years and it will last until January 10, 2023. And my channel would be four years old then. The next to end support is Windows 8.1, which will end support in January 10, 2023. That's nearly four years since I started my channel. I, and I've, been, I'm on, been on, I've been on my YouTube channel for nearly a year right now. So, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Hopefully you upgraded your computers to Windows 10. Or maybe, yeah, and maybe Windows 11. It's It might come out this year, so we might check. Anyways, thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, Windows 7. RIP Windows 7. July 22nd, 2009 to January 14th, 2020. As you may have heard, support for Windows 7 will soon come to an end. And we understand you may have some questions, so we're here to help you. It's not happening until January 14, 2020, so you've got some time. If you're wondering what this means, let me explain. Basically, the Windows 7 operating system you've come to know and love will still run on your computer. You can still surf the web and get to your email, however, you won't receive any new security updates, which puts your computer and your data at risk. Sticking with Windows 7 after support ends opens a door to issues like computer viruses, and you'll no longer receive technical support from Microsoft. Microsoft has been providing support for Windows 7 since it was released 10 years ago in 2009. To help put things into perspective, in 2009, the second generation iPhone had just come out. Still have one of those? Windows has evolved too, and we want to help you move forward to the latest and greatest in security, protection, and features designed for today and tomorrow. So here are some things you can do to prepare. Your best bet would be to switch to a new computer equipped with Windows 10. Not only do you get added security, but there are also features that are only available on a new computer, such as touchscreen and facial recognition sign-in. Think of it as moving from an older car to a newer model. Everything you needed and liked, but with improved performance and features. Plus, computers today are much thinner, lighter, have much longer battery life, and you may be surprised at how affordable they can be. Now, if you're like me, your computer has stuff on it that you still want to use and keep, like folders, files, kid, dog, or cat photos. You can save all of these files to OneDrive to keep them backed up and then access them from all of your devices. Or you can save everything onto an external storage drive, like a hard drive or a thumb drive, and then transfer that to your new computer. Windows 10 has the same familiar features of Windows 7, like the Start button, Taskbar, and File Explorer. So you can get back to what you do quickly and easily. When you're ready, or if you have more questions, we've got lots of great resources where you can find step-by-step -step details and answers to questions you may have. Thank you for being a fan of Windows.